Oh, so nearby Nisha, what are we talking about today? So we're diving back into Supernatural. And this time we're talking about God because you seemed so enthusiastic last time we mentioned him. So like, f it, let's talk about God. Let's do that. That's always a sentence as well that puts people off. So hopefully he doesn't for this video. But like, let's talk about God. And you're like, no. <laughs> So nearby Nisha, as we often do on Wiki Weekends, we'd like to let the lovely audience have another specific topic of today's Wiki Weekends. So the character in Supernatural, God. Yes. Pretty powerful. Is like a character you meet more towards the end of the series. And I don't think you can get much more powerful than God. So that's pretty much where it ends. It's like, yeah. who is more powerful than God? So that's kind of like the last sort of air quote villain, yeah, I guess. It, it, God is the final <laughs> villain. Like, is there? A thing beyond a god, a turbo god, a super god. Maybe there is. We'll find out when we're reading the wiki. But, um, as we often do, we'll start at the beginning with a quote from God. Those other toys, they don't spark joy. All right, Marie Kondo, let's go. But Sam and Dean, the real Sam and Dean, they do. They challenge me. They disappoint me. They surprise me. They're the ones. And that's a quote from God. Um, so basic biographical information about God. Species, primordial entity. Status, alive. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Titles slash aliases. So we have Yang, The Light, The Being, Creation, Chuck Shirley, Carver Edland, Father, Dad, The Creator, Chuckles, Big Man, The Lord, The Almighty, The Big Guy, The Big Daddy, Deadbeat, <laughs> Deadbeat Dad, The Boss, The Man Upstairs, The Old Man, Absentee Father, Raffle Monster, Christo, His Celestial Magnificence, Charles, Daddy. 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 Uh, the Big Burrito. Can you imagine meeting God and calling him the Big I Burrito? I don't even remember that nickname. Uh, by Lucifer, apparently. Captain G, the Eternal One and Pops. The Rascally Deity. The Creator of All Things. Grandfather. Jesus, Yahweh, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Gaia, the Four Winds. Low Rent, Dean Coons. Sorry, Deadbeat Dad. <laughs> So I was saying, like, obviously, like, biblical God yeah. is different to the God in Supernatural, but, like, is it supposed to be biblical God? And apparently it's like, he is all. He is both Yahweh, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, and Gaia. He's all the gods. So presumably in the Supernatural universe, that means all religions are kind of right, but they all worship the same guy. And one of the things I love about when they introduce the concept of God, a creator figure, in fiction is... What are you going to do about actual religions that exist in our world? And by the sounds of it in Supernatural, like, fuck it. <laughs> Just combine them into yeah. one. Just one super god. All gods combined into one. Except for, like, Vishnu and um, uh, Ra. So I feel kind of slighted for, on yeah. behalf of, like, you know, the, what about, like, you know, the Norse pantheon? Is, is, he, is he Thor as well? Occupation, creator, writer and prophet, while disguised, the ruler of heaven formally. Spoilers, no longer, no more. Head of supplies for Camp Chikatwa, and then member of Team Save the World. And his affiliations include The Darkness, the band, or is that another character? <laughs> yes, the band. The band. No, darkness. <laughs> Death, formally. Heaven, formally. Oh. The idea of God falling out with heaven. It's like, I live here. <laughs> I made this. Uh, the Archangels, on and off. The Winchester family, formally. Castile. Joshua Metatron from Undertale. Let's go. Atropus, Becky Rosen, alternate Dean Winchester, Crowley and Rowena. And then it says here that his family, oh, The Darkness is his twin sister. Yeah, it's Amara. The Darkness. That's a good name. So he's it's not the, the light, band. she's The Darkness. <laughs> not the band. And then Nisha, have you got anything to say about the idea of God in the supernatural universe before we move on to the fun stuff, which is powers and abilities? I mean, I liked the way he was like introduced because um, he was writing basically the events of Dean and Sam's life. Like he was writing Supernatural and they, I remember they like, they find a book or something and like, this is describing our life. Like who's this guy who's writing about our life? And it turns out- It's he's, God. It's God. <laughs> it's God's writing like their events. And it's like, do I have free will? Do yeah. I not? Is this book written? Then you have a concept similar to that in uh, the Marvel universe where they do have a God creator type figure in that universe called the one above all. Mm -hmm. And it's largely agreed to be an amalgamation of Stanley and Jack Kirby. Oh. And the one above all is always portrayed like this being of pure ethereal light that cannot be comprehended by mortal eyes, but will occasionally deign um, the lesser beings to take in its appearance in a form it deems um, acceptable for them. Mm -hmm. And you have like one comic where I think it's the thing meets God and gets really mad about it because he's Jewish. It's the idea of like, you know, 
introduce the most powerful being in the universe and then write a story around that. It's like, it's the ultimate test of whether or not you're a good writer to introduce a literal deus ex machina and find a way to make it interesting. Powers and abilities, I can do anything I want. That's just the top quote from God. So literally anything and everything. Yeah. So, being among the oldest and most powerful entities in all of existence, God possessed immense power, allowing him to do practically anything he wished. The only one known to surpass God's near infinite power was the darkness, Amara. And that's such a weird trend or trope in uh, media. I was like, it's more suited to anime than it is to like, um, biblical discourse and stuff is it like there's a being above even god that you didn't know about it was like the turbo god the xenoverse or whatever the fuck it is god has been said by billy to be more powerful than the shadow the ruler of the empty who in turn is more powerful than billy well i'd imagine that something called the shadow is more powerful than the character called billy uh, who is the new incarnation of death it is not known how the original death compares to other cosmic entities and i love the idea as well of death being like this constant just endless, ageless entity that has existed like, since beyond time because it is the finality of the universe, is death. And I, there's a couple of really great interpretations of death in media that I'm a fan of. Um, one is in like the DC universe where death is a, just a, basically a speedster, a flash, because you can't outrun death. And they have one comic where the flash outruns death because he runs to the end of the universe. <laughs> Because it's like, oh, death is like, you know, the physical manifestation of death is just a guy who runs really fast. It's just a skeleton who runs super fast. And if you can run fast enough, you can keep away from death for just a little bit. You should be running away from him forever. And that's what he does. He runs to the end of time itself where death as a concept ceases to exist. And a great line they say is the last thing he sees before the universe dies is Superman crying over an empty, like, dead universe. That's depressing. It is. And the other interpretation of death I like is in the Predator and Alien universe, where the Predators view death as the ultimate hunter who eventually wins all battles. And it's like, the idea that death is just this fucking badass who always wins. Except in The Sims, when you can gamble with death <laughs> and keep your sim alive. Just play rock, paper, scissors for yourself. <laughs> Even after being shot at by the Equalizer, that's the, that's the name for a gun that he used to shoot God with, isn't it? I'm sure that's the God gun as well. Yeah, it? it says here that it loses some of God's abilities. He was still enormously powerful and capable of many feats, such as causing the ghost apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is the ghost? He's got a blue thing on it. It's also I could click that, but we won't. We're going to keep going and resurrecting the most powerful white eyed demon from the empty. God regained all of his abilities after his and Sam's wounds were healed. Later, however, he lost all of his power in a final showdown against the Winchesters. God's powers include, but are not limited to, omnipotence. Being a primordial being, God was immensely powerful. As put by Lucifer, no one makes Dad do anything. Even when Castile was powered by 30 plus million souls from Purgatory. So oh like, my god. Did Castile get a soul nado from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Is that what he does? Castillo, yeah. Death noted that he was still no god. The immensity of God's power was shown by his ability to create multiple planes of existence, including heaven, hell, purgatory, and the whole physical universe with billions of galaxies, as well as countless other realities unseen to the human eye. And they shoot him with a gun. With a god gun. With a god gun. Who god made gun. that? God. That, uh, god. Why would God make a gun that can kill himself? Well, they have that, it's that old paradox, isn't it? Of, like, could God, like, could a, a, a nigh omnipotent being like God create a rock so heavy he himself could not lift it? And there's the paradox of, well, if he create, he's surely a being of infinite power could create something so heavy no one could lift it, but a being of infinite power should be able to lift it. Yeah. And it's one of those, like, could God create a gun that could kill himself? So he was capable of killing entire species in little more than a snap of his fingers. Um, and could defeat uh, a Nephilim Hammer strong as Jack Klein, who could effortlessly kill even Archangels with just, um, uh, again, a snap of the fingers. Look at that Thanos in it. The one thing about the snap that I don't actually like is that they focus so much on the action of snapping itself, and it gets interpreted as you need to snap your fingers to kill the universe. It's like, no, it's just you need to focus on one thing, and snapping your fingers is that thing that you focus on. You don't physically need to snap your fingers to cause it. It's that you need to just focus intensely in that one moment. And it means like, it could realistically be anything. It could be clapping his hands. It could be doing the Macarena. But just they say <laughs> a snap in your fingers for some reason. Just doing the death dance. Like. <laughs> yeah. It is revealed that Jack could kill God by transforming into a bomb. Oh. Wait, what? A man... Like, so there's a bomb that can kill God? No, there's a God bomb. A man turns into a bomb that can kill God. You know what? It makes sense. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's capable of destroying like entire realities. He was also going to be stronger than like any other character introduced. 
Um, Because they're basically here just trying to like power scale him next to everybody else. It's like everybody sucks compared to God except for his sister who's better than he is. And then his powers also include absorption. So he's able to absorb Amara into himself, though he didn't do this through raw power. Um, They came to an understanding and agreed to merge together. Like that, they made peace sort of thing and became one entity. That's terrifying. It's like Goku and Vegeta teaming up, let's go. Astral projection. God rarely revealed his true form. Instead, projecting a form he felt that people could, um, uh, you know, pass with their human, non-primordial eyes. And he says that here he shrouds his true divine form from all other beings. Biokinesis. He was able to cleanse Sam of his demon blood addiction and an entire town of rabies. No rabies. That's it. No more rabies. Bam. Well, I imagine no more COVID. Yeah. Conversion. He was able to transform Castile, a regular angel, into a seraphim. Metatron also noted that God has the power to convert him back to an angel after his grace was removed and he was rendered human. Although God refused to do so as a punishment for his sinister deeds. Electromagnetic interference. With a simple hand movement, God made TVs in his bar. <laughs> Change channel. Thing is though, is that really that impressive? Is that kid in X-Men who does that? Do you know the kid in X-Men who blinks and changes the channel? Oh, see, that kid blinks and changes the channel. God's got to move his hand. <laughs> He's more powerful than God in that aspect. He is, in that one aspect, that kid's more powerful. Fly, in his smoke form, he could fly in the air. Why does he need to fly? He can just exist everywhere at once. Knowing Goku Black becomes the entire sky. Do that. That, yeah, that was terrifying. I'd do that, but it'd be my asshole. Let's uh, do what? what? Like shit on all reality, let's go. Healing. God possessed the ability to heal any type of injury. His healing powers were so strong, he could heal even the most serious of damage. Localization. God could find any being in existence, provided they're not warded against him. So, again, He's not omnipotent then, is he? If you can fi- figure out a way to hide from God, that's a pretty good spell. <laughs> memory manipulation. He's able to, when he resurrected Castile for the third time, he suppressed his memories. Mind control and power granting. So he's able to control people's mind and implant them with uh, a small degree of his own power. Reality warping. So he's got the reality stone. He's got them all. Just imagine his gauntlet would just be full of gemstones. <laughs> you wouldn't need him, would he? Like, he is like the gemstones in him himself. Oh my God. Conjuration. As the creator, he could conjure up 10,000 suns in one location to start a supernova. How do they shoot him with a gun when at a moment's notice he could turn the sky into 10,000 suns? Do you know the song like Fireflies? Yeah. And when instead of fireflies, it's suns. All of humanity is just getting ripped in every conceivable direction at once by the gravitational pull. Well, if you did that, then it'd just be the end of the show, wouldn't it? It'd be great. Right. It reminds me of that amazing shit post of what would win. One sun of one trillion lions. And just the idea of a trillion lions trying to fight the sun is so funny to me. When Sam, Dean and Castile needed help defeating the immensely powerful Jack, he was able to create a gun capable of killing him instantly with no visible So he makes a gun that can kill himself, so that's the, um, the answer to that paradox. In addition, the gun God created was shown to be powerful enough that a shot to his shoulder was able to severely weaken himself. In order to destroy Earth 2, he conjured meteors from above. So he can use Sephiroth's supernova. Weather manipulation, pyrokinesis, resurrection, shape-shifting, sealing and imprisonment, spellcasting, soul control, absorption, super stamina and strength, supernatural concealment, perception, smiting. With just a snap of his fingers, he able to smite Jack with a similar effect to an angel. Although the version was slower and more painful. That's going. Smite him, oh mighty smiter. And then telekinesis, teleportation, aporting. He's had to teleport anywhere he wanted, so not apparition, aporting. Possession, mental manipulation, existence erasure, molecular combustion, chronokinesis. So control over time. Then we have nigh omniscience. So existing for eons, he possessed great wisdom and understanding about the universe he made and then got shot. Universal awareness, didn't see getting shot in the back of the head. I can only imagine it as being like that scene in The Matrix, Joe, you know where that agent dodges like 18 bullets at once. Yeah. And then Trinity shoots him in the back of the head, even though she warns him. It's just us, the way of like media, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Some you have things to just accept. don't make sense. Like, the same things I watch, like, if I'm with my mum and my stepdad, my stepdad will pick at everything. And I'm like, it's not Sounds real. Like it's not real if they did this 
it would end yeah. the series. And I, I'm aware that you have to have that suspension of disbelief, but I really dislike when universes don't play by their own rules. Like, for example, if you establish a universe in which God exists, that I'll buy. But if you establish that like we have here, you have omnipresence and precognition, how does anyone sneak up on him? Believe it or not though, Nisha, and folks at home, God does have weaknesses in this universe, yeah, it says God. here that. Um, a quote about God's weakness, after God made the world, he couldn't stop, he wanted more, but he needed to create a perfect harmony, a Swiss watch so that the world would keep tick, tick, ticking. In his absence, he had no choice but to build himself into the framework, it's his only weakness. I like the idea of that being God's weakness, that he's a perfectionist. Mm. And that just seeing like strife and discord in the world is like a constant source of frustration to God. It says here that just like God's weaknesses include magic, the equalizer, and <laughs> archangels themselves. And then killing, the only things that are known to be able to kill God are Jack Klein. <laughs> The darkness, he being his twin sister, is more powerful, and potentially death, because death is an entity that's said to be potentially older than God, and um, with the ability to kill anything, but it's not confirmed. And it's like, um, for my brief reading about on this wicked, see if there's any more we can, like, you know, plumb from the depths here. Just the description of death have been like, I don't care.